You leaving, Dad? You can leave your door open, Dad. Oh, okay. What up? What up? What up? What do? Me and Omar still burning the midnight oil, son. This is Barker's last box, Denny. We got a case of NT football coming up. Somebody asked me today how many we had opened, and I don't know, but it's over 100, son. Drag them! Let's go! I'm going to try to be a little bit more quiet. Dad's in there working, and he gets a little claustrophobic sometimes, so when he shuts his door, it's kind of like he doesn't have windows in there, so we might just have to knock down some fucking walls and shit and put him a big-ass fucking window. Lucas Oil Stadium. The Titans and the Patriots play tonight, son. What time they kick off tonight, boys? My man Steven, son. My man Steven. Do what he do, baby. 6 p.m. Yeah, and I'm counting loose boxes, but I know, dude, we had we had 35 cases of basketball, maybe 40 the first go around, like straight from the distributors and stuff. So I mean, dude, we were we were packing heat and sold out like fucking a couple of days. So I mean, dude, I don't even know, like, I mean, dude, we hit up. I mean, we've hit over 100. I'm I'm almost sure. I just don't know how many farther. We'd have to sell 400 boxes. No, four times. Yeah, 400 boxes. I'll check it out. Direct TV still sucking D, huh? Comcast sucks too. This is Sean Barker's other cards. Sean, don't. We've all been able to build like a Ginter set. And we're all working on a. <laughs> Sean Barker, man, nice as hell. I'm going to end up, I, the gold set, man, I only need like three or four cards. Man, I can't wait. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slap my card in there. That's how you got the card. Was, that's, so that was badass. I'm excited. Let's go. This is the last box of Ginner of the day. <sighs> Defacenzio, if he does, you're rich. And dude, I don't know. I'd do a little research on him before I went and sold him. You never know. Does he play for the Bucks? Because man, I got the Bucks. They got they got one of the great I mean Giannis. I don't know why it keeps going. Oh, I, I turned it off. I accidentally turned off the power strip. Last box of Ginter, then we go to NT, case of NT. Nah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go home and work on my cards, man. I'm all excited. I've, I've been able to get some 80s and 90s stuff for my little PC. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and do this, and then we're going to ride out, man. I, uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I just, just not chasing it, man, going in. Enjoy the ride a little bit more. We got no rip cards out of this case. I've never seen that. Unless there's one in here, which I don't think there is. Nope. Out of 64 cases, this was, this was the first one we missed. The one where it says it's birthday, it has to be corrected for it to be valuable. Sometimes the corrected version is more valuable than the error. All depends on, you know, how many of each there are. Uh-oh, I ate my fucking words. So there's one of them. There's one of them. Makes me feel a little better. Y'all know what to do. Rip it! 
This is Sean Baca, son. Oh, I think it could be autoed. I just want to enjoy it for a second if it is. It's an A&G back, I think is what it is. It's got red ink. Let's go, baby. We starting to pick up on the red. I don't know who it is. Oh, what do you know? Jacob. Jacob DeGrom Red Ink. Let's go. Man, this case is solid. Hell yeah. We hit a box topper. We hit a red ink. We didn't, if we'd have hit like Harrison Ford or something, this would have been the best case yet. There we go. Badass. Let me put that in his satchel. Those are. <laughs> it is hilarious that it's DeGrom, but. Dude, a DeGrom Red Ink's probably worth, I don't know, 100 bucks or something. Oh, yeah, and his rip card. I'm going to send that too, just in case. We haven't had any luck on the Reds being like big, like Trout. Or, I mean, that's a little frustrating. We've, we've warmed up and hit three or four Red Inks in the last uh, cases. Deep thought. I hear you. They're all sold out, man. Unless there's some in case 66 for Monday. We're just doing six-pack lots, man. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Damn, if that is Brooklyn back. Starting to be in a... We, I hit the Tiger Mask 101 out of a box that a dude gave us. And if we'd hit it, we were going to give the money to St. Jude. That was badass. It was literally like, I can't remember what the bounty was, but I think that's right. With, all right. Now, no more pussyfooting. No more pussyfooting. This is Sean Bakatan. Treasure football. Stay dragon. Okay, you don't want the rip card either. Got you. Yeah, I got your DeGrom. I got all the autos. There was no silk in yours. There was no silk in the whole case. But there's a National Treasures football. I'm going to be a little quiet, man. I'm going to give Omar a break, man. I'm trying to help my pops out. Hey, ma'am. When I'm 75, maybe I want Brady and Jay to be cool to me, too. Omar has earned it. So let's ride, nation. Steven's taught me that. My boy, Stephen McKenzie. I don't know if he's still watching. Well, keep in mind, if you go hitting a red ink at Blowout or some, the, the, the bounty isn't for that. It's only for our store. Needed this today, man. I hear you, dude. If there's anybody out there having a hard time, shit. You gotta just keep, keep plugging. I know it's easier said than done. There are people. There are people that care, and there's people that have been there before. Came out all right, so just think, man. Just keep breathing. You never know what the tide will bring. Ask my boy Stephen. You, uh, you never know what the tide will bring in. You know, like that's the coolest thing of all. Like. Uh, just being able to be satisfied with who you are like it don't matter and it doesn't matter whether you a gardener it doesn't matter whether you deliver pizzas whether you an uber driver it doesn't matter it's what matters to you it doesn't matter what your in-laws doesn't matter what your friends that you grew up with think it's what do you think when you look in the mirror if you got some issues when you look in the mirror man you can all you got to do is start taking small steps get that shit fixed up quick and in a hurry it's not going not you didn't get it all fucked up in a day and it's not going to get better in a day but it will get better if you start making small solid choices that's all you got to do man 
small, solid choices. You owe it to yourself, man. Do it. Do it. What you'll do is you'll inspire someone else around you. You won't just change your life. You'll change the world around you. That's the deal. So that's why it's important to stand up. Do what you do. No flawless, man. And those things are, that shit is just so expensive, man. Y'all are just, it's just crazy. Let's ride, baby. I'll be back tomorrow. What is today? The 17th. We're looking at like 200 and it's a bunch of days, man. We're almost halfway there. No, I mean almost two-thirds of the way there. I guess three-fourths would be nine months. So... We're getting there. Here we go. I would love a baker, to be honest with you. I, I really think baker's going to be the one. And if you see something, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Big Kurt Warner. Treasures, Immaculate, those are my two. After that is flawless, but I love Treasures the most and then Immaculate both sports I could open it I wish I wish I wish they had to put my card in National Treasures football or Immaculate Basketball I'd love to open up 60 something cases of that damn it's yeah sure did was it last night or was it two nights ago no I'd made up my mind I told Joe uh, that you deserve that. It was at the National, I told Joe, I think. I, I talked to them. I try to talk to them about the decisions that are going to affect our business because this is everybody. This isn't just my life that we mess with when we're giving away Jordan rookies or, you know, like it, everybody. So I try to run some of it by them. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you got to run your business. But I had talked about giving you a case at the price, what you know, one case at that price. Yeah, man, I got you. Did they, they already invoiced you, right? What we're going to do, too, is... Hey, yeah, yeah, you have your invoice. Big Jared Goff. Yeah, you're going to thank me for that. I promise you're going to thank us down the road. But you get one case at that price. I wanted to make sure you got one where you, people aren't trying to just fucking gouge. Ronald Jones. Big Saquon. Big Saquon. We got some mathematicians in here. Let's go, baby. Woo! Here we go. All right, good. You're good to go. I appreciate it. This won't fit in here, man. I'm not going to jam it in here. Very rarely, every once in a while. Look, see, a, here's a perfect example of a card that can be trimmed. This card can be trimmed by the trimmers. That's what they're looking for, something that's oversized. See how that card is just a hair oversized? The 98 SP Authentic, I'm telling you, most of them are trimmed that are in good holders. I mean, I still own one. I own a Moss. I sold my Manning. Oh gosh, I will. Um, I'll own another Manning, but it is what it is. Maybe we'll need that in a second. Barkley. This one's a little thicker. Okay, as long as he's got the invoice where we know what the deal is, where he knows what the deal is. If I go dying or something, man, make sure he gets his case. Here we go. Let's 
something weird. It's just, I don't think it's, I see, I think, I don't know. Can't, can't cheat. Let's just go with it. Eddie. Oh, Eddie. Steven loves the Titans, boy. Oh, Jameis. Famous Jameis. Big Bo Jackson. Allen Robinson. I have no idea. Baker, Saquon, Sammy D, and Josh Allen. That's actually a pretty good. I'll use it right there. It's about the right size. Quad. Jones, Big Hayden Hurst. Damn, this is our second one of this cat. Finally, something that's good. This is the freaking Emerald to five. Yo, 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 Gary, if you were only here, bro, if you were only here. Patty to 10, too. <laughs> Let's go. Do you know how many Mahomes we hit in 17? We hit a bunch. We were ripping Mahomes up, boy, before he blew up. We In NT and Immaculate, we hit the Immaculate one of one. Nike RPA car would probably be 15 20 grand right now. I think when we pulled it, um, I think when we pulled it, it was like maybe a thousand something like that. The way I remember it, there's a video of that one. I mean, a lot of this stuff we carry on about, there's video evidence out there. Hell, there's some people watching right now who watched it. Still not an RPA on the back. It's a redemption. Probably Sonny Michelle. Here we go. Big Tom. Come on now. Don't let us down. Big Ben. Roger. Big Drew Brees. Drew Hobson watched it. Big Gr Ooh, 101. I like it. I bet Clint Shelby saw it. One of one. These things are so damn beautiful. It's crazy how many people been running with us. Y'all are loyal. I think we don't, we truly appreciate it. That's awesome. That's a pretty solid card. That's a one. Be a one of one logo patch of Sunny. Oh, wait, there's two cards here. Damn, what a beaut. My man, Randy. A little bit of a smudge. Fuckers. Yeah. It's beautiful. I love Randy Moss's signature now, man. He's a nut dragger, boys. He's a nut dragger. I love people like Randy Moss, Mike Tyson, Josh Hamilton. Um, I like players like that, that are like human that make mistakes and they go up they come down they go up like that's all of us man like that's normal like when somebody's out there and at least you know keep it real you know uh, Terrell Owens uh, I like Terrell a lot if you listen to Terrell on YouTube and stuff and some of these motivational videos man Terrell has some shit to say he's not a bad guy man you know he's just not I don't think people like I like people who are human you know, and let us, know, you know, and they're, uh, they have that, that, you know, I can relate to that, man. You know, Mike Tyson losing his mind and, you know, you all, just the struggle, man. You know, it's real for most. You don't have it, man. Count your blessings. Yeah, I remember that too. I could, I could tell y'all, like I said, I've never watched a video long. Like I've, somebody shown me clips for a minute. I would, oh, it's a Lamar RPA. That motherfucker's hot too. Be a 101. Be a 101. Yes. And it's thick too. It's not a regular. Ka -ka! That's going to be an emerald or a something. How about an NFL logo patch? Get out to Woodford, Omar. Let's go. Jared. Big Larry Fitzgerald. Seems like wide receivers are a lot of the 
you know, the types that I, I don't know why. They're kind of flamboyant, but they're Chad Ocho Cinco. I used to like Chad Ocho Cinco a lot. A lot of people hated him, you know. They're just polarizing. I don't know any cats that are polarizing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Last night's show, probably, um, I'm trying to think. Let me get through you, Lamar, because got, I've got some time before I go. We'll, we'll fucking story time it or show some cards or something. I don't feel like opening, but I feel like we could shine a little light for somebody out there that's struggling. Is that Omar leaving? Yeah, Omar's out of here. Omar going home to watch some football or something. Lorenzo, ooh, it has two RPAs in one pack. Our boy Mark Walton, but see how Walton is thinner? I'm not sure if y'all can. Look at that, he's thinner. Please be a fucking one-on-one. I think it's going to be number to 10. Let's see what we got. Dual auto. There's the Walton. Dual auto, like we care. Derwin. Minka. I just want to enjoy it for a second. I know it's, dude, that dude's going to be a killer, man. Apparently, I was wrong about Lamar. Definitely Lamar. You see that? You see that? It's the little shine. Can't remember where the number is on these things. What a beautiful sig. Mm -hmm. Learn how to spell Louisville boy. To tw one. I hope it's nice. Boom! One of 25. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Mm, yeah. Let's go. There you go. The helicopter, nah, man. For some reason, I'm not feeling all flying around type shit today. I don't know. As far as the sh yeah, that's badass. Everybody enjoy that while I think. My favorite show ever was probably last night or the night I was able to show y'all that we did the million dollars. <laughs> that felt so good. We set a goal that everybody thought was fucking stupid, snickering and shit, like for real. And uh, we, we it was like two months later, three, three months, 15, it was... January, February. It was two months and 15 days later we hit it. Run tell that. All you got to do is speak it, folks. All you got to do is speak it. That was my favorite car we ever hit was probably the Wentz. I'm not talking about repacks. I'm talking about straight up out of their products. Um, Lamar. I can't think of anything else. Let me see if there's anything. I want to sh I'll show y'all what we picked up or something. Give me just a second. Yeah, the Lamar's dirty. He should be, because that guy looks like he's going to be all right. We'll see. bought a gigantic deal today but I haven't got it squared away or anything it's just we're gonna have to get it I'm gonna show you a few I'm taking home for the PC Benny somebody sent me this I bought a card from them and I don't know because it was they had opened it and put it in my a little tote for me but somebody sent me that big Pat Tillman oh Pat Tillman baby got nothing but love Mother Teresa's going home me and Mother, me and Mother Teresa met, man. She shined a little light, man. I love the baseball hero autos, the, all the ones from the old days from when I was a kid. Can't get enough 82 Ripkins or, look at that, man. You haven't got to spend a lot of money to bring back some happiness, man. That was probably like 10 bucks, probably 30 bucks, 40 bucks, probably 10 or 15, 10 bucks. No more, son. This car was expensive. I, this was at the end, man. I was in high school. I had a car, and they had rack packs that you could see. 
you could see the cards in these stadium club rack packs. I wish I could find some of these today. That would be so cool. But I would go to the Walmart there in Huntington. I would grab the, the Hills and the Jason kids. That's pretty much the deal with the 94, 95. So like I'm starting to build back even the, the nine. Like I, I hit this card. I hit the Vince Carter 98 Jersey in my fraternity uh, bedroom. It was like one in 2,500 packs, dude. I literally was watching football. It was the day of the Music City Miracle that I hit the Carter, I think. Yeah. I was watching the Music City Miracle when I hit that card. Isn't that crazy that I remember that? But I don't really think there's any. We still have a whole, whole table full of stuff to give away. We'll probably pick that up on Monday. We'll do some more donations. Do what now? Nate could use a nut dragon chin ups. Just finished tossing my destroyed cards from where my flea market roof collapsed. A nut dragger chin up. It's hard, man. Every once in a while, David, like it's okay, man, to be upset. You know, today, give it about 48 hours. You got 48 hours to complain. You got 48 hours to make excuses, you know, this or that, because they're true. You know, you had this terrible thing happen. But at the end of the day, man, you know, bad, I think a lot of people don't understand, bad shit happens to all of us. And if we concentrate on our own bad shit, we think like we're the only ones now. I haven't had all my cards lost yet. I mean, it's, I'm not minimizing what happened to you. I'm saying if you'll kind of think that, man, this shit happens to everybody. I got to fucking pick myself up, you know, and start again, man. Dude, sometimes that's fun. Like, I'm not saying it's losing all your shit. But, man, it builds self-confidence when someone can just strip you clean and take away, take away everything and build it back. I mean, that's one of the things I do have is confidence. I told Gary the other day, I said, look, a fucking meteor could come down and blast this building away. And what I would do is I, they, I said that you could burn it down to ashes and I would bring my broom. I would sweep the fucking floor and I'd go right back and it'd be, we'd build it right back. And whenever you have that mentality, you're going to be all right, man. Anybody else? Hang in there, man. Anybody else? Let's talk, man. I'm good. I'm ready today. Whole collection. That's awful. That is awful. This is Parker. I think we're good, man. I, don't, I really don't have anything I want to just pull out and show or anything card-wise. Yeah, it can be an issue, man. No doubt about it. Yep. Everybody just keep plugging. Let me see. Your wife asked you if you wanted a sugar daddy, if she wanted a sugar daddy. Shit, you know me, son. You don't even got to ask me that. You know what I would say. No, what'd you pull out of Stadium Club today? I don't know which video, man, but I appreciate it. Oh, we will. We got y'all. Uh, what card'd you pull? Anybody else? Right here, baby. Ask Nate Dog. I'm ready to spit some advice. 1990? Aaron Judge Auto 205. No, he didn't tell me that. Good job, man. I hear you. Yep. Success isn't about dollars and cents, man. There's, dude, I, I have, I have plenty of friends that are wealthy, and they're fucking miserable. You know what I'm saying? They're miserable. So, of course, Rylan, get the fuck out of here, man. You know better than that. Uh, yeah, I got you, James. Just hang in there, bro. You never know. That's awesome. I had no idea. I was here most of the day. Yep. All it takes. Yeah, that 500 strikeout card is dirty. Is it 5,000? I think so. Yeah, badass. Is it 3,000 or 5,000? 
Anybody else? It's a question time. Some real shit. Don't be making up some shit. Finally made it back. Hell yeah. Took only a heart attack to get me level. Hang in there. Ain't that the damn truth? James, what? Strike out car. Yeah, and I think a lot of times too, I think a lot of times, man, it's easy to say. Like, I understand someone has like a mental issue. Like, you know, it sounds great to be like, oh, just get dust yourself off, man, and get up and go. It's like, look, dude, it's not that we're saying go, go build it all in a day and get set. It's like the first step could literally be getting out of your bed. If you're laying in your bed all the time, if you're depressed, or if, if uh, just going to get something to eat is exhausting, man, you have to you have to find a way to find the courage to go see if a doctor can help you get you straightened out, or you have to talk to someone you love that's got some sense that's been there before. Um, you can Google uh, uh, chat rooms. I mean, dude, you can find so many things from your bed now that like. I mean, you think I haven't had any of that? Like I did in college, man. There was a time I waited. I waited tables for like three years, but I went through this spell for like a month or two, where I couldn't even carry a tray. Like I would, you know, like I was having problems balancing, and I, like if I went to get something to eat, I was just exhausted. It was fucked up. It was terrible. Trying to finish school, and you don't even want to get out of bed, man. It's just depression, man, and you don't. I don't even know why. It's just overwhelmed with fucking life. Life has never been more chaotic than it is now. That was 20 years ago. But shit, dude. I mean, it's, it's okay, man. It's all right. If you're having some issues, I had them too. We're gonna, you're going to be all right. Yeah, just take it one day at a time, man. The 3D, look at hot numbers. Anybody else? We right here. We're not going anywhere. It's Saturday, man. I'd rather... I'd rather just sit here for a minute. I don't want to bust cards. Uh, I will, man. I appreciate it, man. I do, Stephen, and you say that a lot, man, but all my life, it's, this is, I'm just getting to kind of enjoy the, the pats on the back, man, because it's the nation that's raising all the money, paying a lot. This is a whole, whole all of us. Where did you buy that Jordan painting? At the National from the from the painter, you know, the guy who who painted it. Got you, man. No problem, bro. I love doing this shit. If you run into people, man, that like they're always trying to kick somebody like if they're on top or they're like they're feeling good and somebody's down below them or, or struggling if you see them trying to kick that person that's the type of person you drop man that's a bottom tenner you need to find people that'll raise reach down and try to help somebody up Ooh, the jankiest customer that's a great question I mean, I can tell you about some customers that I thought were my friends that literally tried to burn my family business to the ground. I mean, stuff like that, like local people that, you know, you feel betrayed, literally, literally, because you wouldn't give them a six-figure job, you know, early on, uh, you know, tried to burn your, literally burn your business to the ground. No, he's not, man. But Omar is patriotic as they get. I didn't, the stuff y'all see from me, man, I got from Omar. As far as being patriotic and St. Jude Hospital. That's him. Uh, the most expensive card. 52 tops mantle, the five and a half that we have right now. We've had some 25,000s. I don't think I've ever had. That's it. That car. We I sold the Otani one time for forty thousand, but me and Adam owned half each. The Otani Red last year, we sold it for forty thousand. I'd say the Mantle, fifty-two Mantle. Uh, 
Darbo 101. I'm, I'm talking about that moron. Oh, I mean, he just went his separate ways, man. No big deal. Did anyone confront you at the national? Like, guys, fuck no. Why would they confront us? Hell, all they do is come and ask for more money, son. No, man. First of all, Dave and Adams ain't got nothing to say, and neither does Blowout, because Blowout is like, he knows. I know I know who the best one in this industry is. That's the deal. And Dave and, Ad, Dave and Ad, Adam can go ride a lightning bolt. Uh, Steel City is legit. I consider Steel City all around he's he's the someone to look up to and try to chase you know if you want if you straight cash money and you want to make the most money you possibly can and buy the craziest shit in the world it's blowout but that's that's not what i'm interested in i'd say steel cities who who i would like to try to emulate not anybody else but I'm, i want to drag some folks just because, man that's just how i am i want to i want to compete like I don't care whether you're a realtor at Keller Williams. If you got to find something that you're passionate about and you got to find somebody to compete that's above you, stop beating up on people that are behind you. You know, hold on. There's a couple more coming in. Just moved to a new place. Hell yeah, that's awesome. I'm trying, man. We, not me. We, we're, we are changing. We have 100%. We're doing things that have never been done and then people go and do it. You know, like, I'm, I agree, but it's all, it is all of us. All of us are doing that. 5,000 on a card, probably the best Mickey Mantle. You know, I like Pete Rose. I think Pete Rose, PSA 8, that would be pretty close. Yep. Sean is is someone I look up to. He's not an uh, you know he's not trying to just business is business and that's all. I I I get it. I love there's certain people I really care about, but business is business, man. You gotta handle your business. But when it comes to someone I'd want my kids to grow up like, it's Sean in in the big boy world. Uh, yeah, I think I got maybe nine packs of eighty six tops from Omar. Uh, what else we got? Anybody else? Let's go. Nate, I saw a softball team. <laughs> the Big Nut Club. I like it. It should take, uh, well, if you send it today, Monday. But Joe checks it every day. Supposed to. Did you send one today? He, he would have left if you sent it today. Or if you sent it Friday, he may not get to it till Monday. But it should be answered within 24 hours. What else? Uh, the jankiest customer to get rid of, by the way, was fucking uh, whatever his name was, Denny. He's the jankiest motherfucker we ever dealt with. Literally had to go to the cops. Uh, hell, no shit. We all do. Shit, 200 people, man. I, dude, I was excited when we had 19. They said there was a video where I said... You got not, we were opening up a flawless briefcase for somebody, and I said, Man, you're killing it. We got 19 people watching. <laughs> Woo! PSA depends on the year. Uh, 95 ish and up, Beckett. 94 and back, PSA. Always be dragging. Now we get the, we have the drag em shirts, and so many people ask about those. Yep, those were the days. So simple times. I would auction off prism. I would auction off like two prism packs. That's the thing. People don't see the beginning. They see the end or when something's going well. And you got to remember what it's like. Like I just didn't, I didn't just open up a Facebook page and hundreds of people joined in. It was a, a pretty, I mean, it was lucky. Some of it was lucky. Yeah, we had 2,500 people one time. Yeah, like we stopped pack wars because we didn't want, you know, somebody to act like that was gambling. I mean, we've done everything. I mean, it's been wild. Some of the craziest shit, man. I mean, hanging out with Ric Flair while he watches LeBron James. LeBron's his favorite player. 
crazy shit, man, come, went down here. From the time Omar about shot the U UPS guy. I buy them graded, buddy. And I would, I would be very careful who you're buying stuff from. Always remember in the sports card industry, it's just like in the real world. If it seems to be, if it's too good to be true, it is. I see so many of my buddies buying stupid shit. Oh, it was only $200 for a Jordan rookie. Well, why not take $200 and just fucking set it on fire, man? You know, stop being cheap. Either don't buy one or stop blowing money, throwing it down the drain. Like, golly. Or send a picture. Like, dude, you can literally find this information on Google about how to tell a fake and a real one. Yeah, you don't want to say big, big whatever female because that'll get you in trouble. Yep. The stories we've told about, I mean, I don't even know where I come up with that sometimes, but it's a lot of fun. This'll this'll be I have no idea how this whole story's gonna end. I, I really don't. Sometimes I wake up. I'll tell you my big one of my biggest fears is I'm I'm gonna wake up and it's the first day I'm open. Which is to, three years tomorrow will be three years. And I fear that I'll wake up and this was all a dream. Because the like my kids wanted to go to a new school um they went to a school where like every morning last year as freshmen like trying to get them up and to school was a, a unbelievable chore because they didn't want to go the school is rough and i'm sure they were getting the hell you know beat out of them and picked on you know and your kids you know, at 15 years old, they're not wanting to come tell me because they know I'll go into the school throwing fucking garbage cans around and say, you know, you know, let's go. Let's find this kid. Let's find his dad. And we're going to figure this out real quick. Just like just how it is. So they don't tell me. So but they're keeping all that inside. And they were just terrified. They didn't want to go there. And all their friends were going to the new school. We were just barely on the other side. You know, I would have never, ever been able to get them to the other school without the nation. It just wouldn't have happened, man. I would have just dealt with that. And I mean, that's okay. But when you see me sometimes, like I, I keep my emotions on my sleeve or however they say it or why I'm so grateful to people, like everybody watching, that's why. Like I, I was able to get them out of there. Like if you saw their school, man, it's a brand new school. I went to their open house Thursday night or Friday, whatever. Yeah, Thursday night, because I didn't have a show. One of my favorite days in the world, you know, because you get to see, you know, what you've done. I mean, that's something that I was able to do. And it's just one of those things where, and then you know what? This year, don't even have to wake them up. You don't even have to wake your kids up. Like, that's like you guys. So pardon me if I'm, you know, always appreciative or carry on about the nation because that's what I feel like. Like those are the small things, but or, or they they're, they may be small things to you, um, but they're not small things to me. And like I've said before, I've told people that when I first right before I opened my store for years, like for years, I several years because I was getting beat down in real estate pretty good, and. The, the market had tanked and I had to go back to college and I was trying to finish up at MTSU and I literally would not look at myself in the mirror when I shaved. I mean, what the fuck, man? You know, why? Because I was just doing the best I could. I mean, looking back, but regardless, dude, if you're like that, dude, it's going to be all right, dude. Just find what you're passionate about and find a way. I don't care if you have to file bankruptcy. I don't care if you got to go to your parents. I don't care. You've got to find a way to be courageous enough to gamble on yourself. I mean, at the end of the day, if it doesn't work, go back to having a 500 credit score. Who cares? Uh, uh, bounce checks, all that shit. You can go back and do that anytime. You know, go get it. That's the bottom line, folks. No more, no less. I go home every, I haven't, I have not set an alarm in three years. Not one time. I, I take that other than if I'm flying out at like 4.30 or, you know, I have to get up at 4.30 or 5. 
I wake up at 6, 6, 6.30 every morning, ready to go, baby, ready to go. Here we go. What city's the best? Chicago, in my opinion. Meemaw, happy Father's Day. Hell yeah, I don't even remember what you're talking about, but that's cool. Uh, appreciate a big David. We all do, man. There's so many cool ass people, man. There's people that I think about a lot, like that, like Andrew Winters. He'll stop in and just buy a three hundred dollar comic book for St. Jude's just because he's trying to help. Like, it's just a good human being. We've we've dropped the pieces of shit, and that's what happens. You know, you drop the pieces of shit, you'll be fine. Uh, hockey, I don't know, man. I've I've seen my buddy's got the Connor McDavid. Uh, NHL Shield 101 second year that's like 20,000 my man Lou uh, yeah Louie alright I'm trying Big Donnie you tell Pam to hang in there tell Caleb I got him man if y'all need anything if you need food anything man just call me dude it's been you, you, Pam has been weighing on me uh, it's been weighing on my heart man um, you know one of those things <sighs> One of those things, but I got you. Yeah, we would bolt. I mean, it was crazy. We have like between four and 8,000 that are gone. Anything else? I'm right here. Yep. Yep, that's true. Yep, keep sending them, folks. It is what it is. You just got to hope that, got to believe. Goals for the nation. Man, I want to raise a million dollars next year for St. Jude. You know what's cool is I'm not embarrassed to say that anymore. Like, I'm just not. Like, I, I hear that. I'm like, that's fucking Looney Tunes. But I'm not afraid to say it anymore. When I first would say that stuff to y'all, I would be embarrassed or I would worry about what somebody thought. Hey, man, if you don't like it or you don't, or you think I'm stupid, man, fuck you. It's just the bottom line. Come back on 12-31-2020, bitch. Let's go. Couch for sale was badass, dude. God, that was so badass. That was the night, man, when it went from like 50, 60, 70. It was bananas. We were like, oh, my gosh. Dude, 50 people was an absolute, we were popping bottles. It was so fucking wild. And then, man, it just, there was a big dark time there for about three months where I was dealing with a lot of things off the show that y'all just have no idea about that were really weighing on me. It should have been the best time of my life. And, I mean, it was, but some real fucking bottom tenors. Today, I just didn't feel like, I don't know why God does the things he does. I didn't feel like, like, we could have sold cards to Anthony Walker. He asked, will you bust these? And I was just like, no, nah, maybe every once in a while it's good. We just have a talk. I don't know why today. I just didn't feel like it. Another talk for a minute. That's nice, man. I'm glad. A vlog. Yeah, probably should. Do I remember specific nights? Well, I mean, well, I mean, dude, there's been some pretty monumental nights. I don't really think there's any night that just made the nation. You're going to have ups. You're going to have downs. You're going to have, you know, I don't think there's ever one moment. I just think that we've got some great people in our little community, and we just fucking drag nuts now, and, you know, you just have to enjoy it while you can. You never know, man. You never know. It's going to take one day at a time. Enjoy my kids at their new school. Run, tell it. Good to see you too, man. Appreciate the support. He bought the Ric Flair 11 by 14. That's the truth. I get, I'm happiest when we give money away. I'm happier giving money away than spending it. I don't know why. I just that's it, that's it. I just like get. I like helping. Just how I am. I don't know why. Yeah.
Yeah, that's the main thing. We're always all dealing with these crazy bullshit life things, you know. And everybody has them. And over here, man, we just keep it real, man. Like, a lot of breakers, like, they want to be cool. Like, they want everybody to think they're cool, man. Fuck, I'm not cool, man. I'm not, I'm not trying to be something I'm not. I'm me. And so I'm able to just tell you the truth. I don't, I don't fucking lift weights or I'm not coming to beat anybody up, man. I just am who I am. Oh, me and Gary V, son, we fucking put on a hell of a show. Yeah, the Leaf jerseys were nuts. Y'all would, when we first started doing the show and it took off, y'all would wipe out the whole wax wall. I, the show was two days for two reasons. I would spend all my money on wax, all of it. Y'all would buy it all, and then I would order the next morning and do it again. Well, it took me two days to ship. To, I mean, it was it was just a two-day interval because of that. It took two days to get here. I literally would, it was all of it. I, I would just roll it right back, and we'd run it back. And then the next night, I'd have 20% more. Y'all fucking wipe that motherfucker out, and we'd fucking go back at it again. And it was just, you would just look at the walls, and it was just empty. And you're just like, what the fuck? It was fun, man. I, I will go enjoy some of that one day. I'll go check it out. Got to be awesome to see. What up, what up, what up? Oh, there was a lot more response at the National. Last year, nobody really knew who we were, except some of our, I mean, our haters knew who we were, and then a few customers. This time, we had lots of people that knew who we were in the industry. Y'all have really done well. Put a put a dent in the like the reach that we have, you know, through advertising and stuff. But it's doing better. I feel like it's growing right now. I mean, we could grow. I'm just. I think I'm good right now, man. I don't, we don't have to take on the world right now. We can do what we do. The worst purchase I've made. Mm. Mm. Fuck, I don't make too many of those. I'm pretty, but I do make mistakes. What are some of the shit I did? Pretty cool that I can't really think of anything that just stands out. Um, I bought two fake gold coins one time. That, you know, it's a perfect example of not knowing what the hell you're doing. And it was it was the Swiss one ounce gold bars. That was early on too, man. And I bought them from a dude that I I somewhat knew, and I knew I could track him down. But after the tra right before, he was like, "Well, are you going to keep these? Or are you going to resell these?" And I was like, "Well, I'm going to keep them." Well, he said, well, if you're going to keep them, I'll sell them to you for X. And I was thinking, why does he want me to just put them in, just keep them? So I called a jeweler, or I called a, um, a coin guy here in town and took them over there. He's like, man, these are fake. You know, like, they're very good fakes. But he's like, man, I cannot believe I'm seeing this. So I called him. I was like, you got one hour to bring me my motherfucking money or I'm calling the police. And I'm not, I'm not going after this civilly. I'm going after this criminally. He's like, you knew it. You know what? You got one hour. You know what that dude did? He brought me my motherfucking money within an hour. That's it. He fucking crook, man. You got to be careful around here, man. There's a bunch of crooks in this town fucking selling leaf blowers and shit. Fucking bums. All right, man. Y'all take it easy. Anybody else? I need a... Uh Yep, I got you. Got you, man. Appreciate the kind words. Anybody else? Last call, baby. I'm ready to go. Worst purchase, worst purchase, worst purchase. Um, fuck, I can't really. I mean, I can tell you some worst purchase. Fucking, I can tell you the worst purchase I made this fucking year was a National Treasures basketball box. I opened one of those fucking heaping, heaps of pile of shit. Boy, I got murdered. And you know what my worst purchase was two years ago? A box of National Treasures basketball. There's a theme there. But you know what? The, ju 
The juice is worth the squeeze when you hit that 25, 30,000. Dude, Kawhi Leonard logo man brought $43,000 the other day. $43,000. Uh, just I do a little bit of silver, Nicholas, and gold. A little bit of that. I enjoy that. Yes, Sean. Yes, you did. And it was awful. It felt like Panini literally just stripped me down and gave me a good jailhouse, you know what? Awful. Big Joe Carter in the house, son. Deuces, man. Yep, that's true. That is all true, man. I always remember that, man. You know what? You, you may lose the money on the cards or whatever on, on that one, but at least I had the balls to play, son. All right, guys. Everybody have a good weekend. For real. Thank you for everything. I got nothing but love for y'all. We're closing in. We're like 600 bucks away from 40,000. We actually did like almost 13,000 this uh, Saturday or Friday night. So y'all take some pride in that shit. We thought it was like 37 or 38, but it's like 39, 400 or something like that. We're going to fucking crash on 40, 40 G's on Monday. Always be dragging, baby. Deuces. Let's go.